Let's have a quick look at the instance object. So the instance object is a special duplicate of an object that does not have its own geometry. And as a result, instances require far less geometry than conventional duplicates. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, let's say that we had something in our scene. Let's say we had a lamp post, and we needed to make 40 copies of this, or 100 copies, however many. And let's say that it was a complicated model. Well, the more times we duplicate this by holding Control or Command on a Mac and dragging down, we can duplicate it, and we can put it out here like this. Then we can duplicate it again. We can make another copy, and we can duplicate it again, and we can make another copy, and so on and so on. So when we start getting further up there, it's going to start taking its toll on your memory. So the heavier your scene gets, the slower your computer is going to run. So one thing that we could do is we could use the instance object. Let's just put that back in the scene. Drag that up. With the cylinder selected here, I can go up to my objects and choose instance. And now you'll see we have a copy that's called cylinder instance. And I can take that and I can move it over here. So this is a copy of the cylinder, but one that takes far less of a memory hit. And like I said in another movie, go ahead and turn on the render instances here. This is the special render method, which almost allows for an unlimited number of instances. So from here, you could just continue to duplicate your instances, and you're not going to have much of a memory issue then. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're working on heavy scenes. You can always use your instance object.